starting chapter 6, we're going to start considering things that go in a circle. In this case, we're going to look at a grindstone. Um, in case you're not familiar with what a grindstone is, I've attached a picture over here on this side. It's basically got a wheel that spins around really fast with something kind of rough on the surface so you can grind metal or wood or what have you. So basically what's happening is here's the wheel. It's got a certain radius and they're interested in a spot out on the edge. Imagine a little piece of the wheel kind of stuck on the rest of the wheel. We want to find the centripetal acceleration and the centripetal acceleration is given by v squared over r. The faster it is, the more acceleration you're doing because you're changing the direction. And also the bigger it is, you're doing a gentler turn so the acceleration is less. The rest of the question is pretty simple. We're given r, but let's change that into meters. A couple decimal places over. And then the v. Well, the v they gave it in some really funny unit. They gave it to us is rev per minute or as some people would say it, RPM, revolutions per minute. Not a big deal. We just have to do the proper unit conversion to make it happen. So then the speed here, roughly speaking, is 65,000 revolution per minute. But we want it in the end in meters per second. So well, let's change the minute into seconds. That we know pretty well. The new thing here is revolution. One revolution is as you go all the way around a circle, how far did you travel? That's the circumference, which is 2 pi r. It's 2 pi r per revolution. And r, as we know, has got a meters in there. That's why all the units will work out. We're giving us meters per second. So we have 6,500 divided by 60 times 2 pi, oh, second is still around, 2 pi times 0 0.0750 meters. And that's why we have meters per second. As it works out, this is 51.0501, keeping lots of digits for now, meters per second. With that, we plug it into V squared over R, or square over 0.075 meters. And just to double check the units, we have meter square, second square on top, divided by meters. We end up with meters per second square, as we expect for acceleration. So that's another way, if you don't quite remember the form of this equation here, you can kind of get at it through the units as well. And we get this fairly large, 3.47 times 10 to the 4 meters per second square of acceleration, which answers the first part of part A. The second part, they want us to convert this into number of Gs just to get some sense. But the number is so big, it's hard to get a sense anyways. It works out to be 3.55 times 10 to 3, so, so 3,000 Gs. Very big acceleration because you're spinning really, really fast. And then part B, we already worked out already. So the speed was 51.1. And that's that. Two main ideas here. Number one being your centripetal acceleration is given by V square over R. And this thing about converting rev per minute into meters per second through the use of two pi R.